Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Today we will be discussing or trying to explore a better way to code in C++ or how can you make your code operate or execute faster when you try to execute your application code. But today we will be seeing a way to asynchronously call or asynchronously execute a particular function. Before this is based on the concept of futures. So today we'll be seeing the use of an API called as async, async API in C++. Therefore today I will try to demonstrate what, what is async API and why it is used and when it is used and in which cases it can be used. And also I will see with the live demo how it is working uh, with this particular application code. Uh, before starting, I would like I would like to request everyone to subscribe to this channel and to get notification of the videos that I post and do share the video in your friend circle etc and do check out the description box you will find the link to a blog post which will cover most of the videos that I post uh, let's get started on the video uh, as you can see, the program starts with a main function. Just I added some few other lines of code to demonstrate the use case of this future or std async API. So I start with this particular uh, declare a string and declare some custom data structure. And then I use this std async API and it actually accepts the first argument as that api callback or which api you want to execute asynchronously this, uh, the for read file read file is defined just above this particular main function the for read file what it does is it actually tries to read a content from the particular file which we have supplied using the is tree so that's the thing about it and after this async api i have written some few lines of code to uh, print some uh, data into the console output and do some other uh, thing with it. You can write as many lines of code after this std async. And after these lines, I am using this future, whatever return value is provided by this async, and I am calling a get API on the future object. So let's see, let's try to run the code and see how it behaves. Then I will try to explain what is std async and when it is used, then it will be much more clear than in that context. But I'll try to fire this particular code up. Let's try to see if it works. The, the breakpoint has been hit in the std async method. And let's try to continue to see if that particular, I have put breakpoint in the read file API as well. And let's try to continue the execution. As you can see, the function which is provided with the uh, provided to the std async, it doesn't get executed when the when we actually give the reference to our function to std async. It doesn't execute at that point in time, and the other instructions which were there, it is getting executed. If we pr if we again continue the uh, program execution and it goes to it executes all these things and then it goes to the future dot get api the main function so i will try to execute it once again now you can see that this particular read file api has been called when we try to do this future dot get when we try to use that api get on the future object which is returned from the std async before it it is getting executed at some point in the future, not at the moment when we try to pass that function to the std async. So there is a, uh, it is kind of a promise that that particular function that you are passing to std async will get executed at some point in future. And when we want some result out of that function, then you can call some API in the future object. And Additionally, you can see that the breakpoint has been hit here and you can see some small blue symbol here. So that indicates that this particular API is getting executed in a different thread. It is executed in a different thread compared to the main thread. Therefore, that is 
how you can distinguish whether this particular function is getting executed in a different thread or not. So this blue uh, tick indicates that actually. Then let's try to continue our execution and see. Yeah, it has executed successfully. And try to do without uh, debugging. So these all things uh, you can ignore as of now. This is actually a way to actually track the memory as allocation and deallocation in your C++ application. So I have done a detailed video on that in the uh, YouTube. Therefore, you can I can actually link the particular uh, video in the description box. Do check that out, and you can actually ignore for this particular session and these things get printed and there are so it gets released a lot of things has happened and we can see that this particular program has executed successfully and there are no other uh, uh, problems associated to this particular code if you go to the input.txt what it contains let's try to explore that Yeah, this is the input.txt and it actually read the first uh, word actually. So since we are using the uh, insertion that operator we are using, it has read only the first word and has exited. Therefore, that's why you see in the console output so if we try to run the code once again without debugging, you will see that it has read only Smith, which is from the input.txt. Therefore, these all things get executed before reading from our file. That's what the main point is. This std async gives us a way to asynchronously execute a particular function and it need not be executed then and there. It is uh, it can be executed uh, sometime in the future whenever we want to get some result out of it. Therefore, if this is the case where this particular function is returning void, then what if this function returns something bool or something? Therefore, how can we get the return value? If I do this return to reading this particular file, and let's we can actually get the return value from uh, doing that get as you can see in the tooltip you can see it is returning future of the template the future object is of type boot so we can actually get the result here let's let me put a breakpoint here to see what happens if I to build the project yeah um, let me try to run with the debug mode and it started execution and yeah it tried to execute our function when we tried to call dot get on it at that point in time it executed in a different thread and then let's continue our execution and we got the result back as true before this is how you can get the return value from a particular asynchronous function if this is a particularly a good way to uh, write asynchronous code in C++ so that you can make your operations much faster. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video. Hope it was pretty helpful. And do share your thoughts in the comment section and do subscribe to this particular channel. Thank you and have a nice day.